Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, when the world was freezing cold and great big hairy elephants called mammoths wandered around in the snow, there lived a very sad man whose wife had just died. A mammoth had fallen out of a tree and landed on her. And his neighbour was a large, strange woman who wasn't so much sad as bad. Her husband had also died, but he had been pushed under a mammoth. Some said by her, but no one could prove it. Anyway, both the man and the woman each had one daughter, and eventually they decided to get married. But although at first the woman seemed to love her new stepdaughter, that love soon turned to dislike, and the dislike soon turned into hate. The reason for this was simple. The man's daughter was beautiful and gentle and quite, quite perfect. But her daughter was cruel and ugly and smelly and just sat around the house all day picking her nose and saying, Ooh, look at the size of that one, everybody. And so the woman was eaten up with jealousy. So one day in the winter, when the snow lay thick on the ground and everything was as hard as stone, she took a dress which she had made out of paper and told the girl to put it on. Right, she said. Now, go outside into the swirling, freezing snow and don't come back until you've found me an enormous basket of strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> but stepmother, the girl protested, there are no strawberries in winter and this dress is far too thin. The thorns will tear it off and I'll freeze in the wind. Don't you dare answer back to me, the stepmother cried and she produced a small lump of hard bread. Yeah, take this. Be a nice meal for you, won't it? Yeah, and it's better than you deserve. <laughs> yeah, come here. No, 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 come here, darling. Hello. <laughs> now get lost. Well, the girl had no choice but to obey. So off she went into the swirling snow. Oh, into the swirling snow. <laughs> and she was looking for strawberries when there wasn't so much as a blade of grass in sight. Eventually, she came to a small house, and as she drew close, she saw three little men in the downstairs window. Eh, eh, ah. By now, her dress was in shreds and she was blue with cold. So she went and she... Uh, 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 tap, 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 knocked on the door. Come in, come in, come in! The three men cried. Come, come in, come in, come and sit by the nice warm stove. <laughs> well, the girl accepted their invitation gratefully, and as she'd eaten nothing all day, took out her little piece of bread and began to nibble at it. Oh, 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 yum, yum, oh, look, oh, stale bread. The three little men got very excited at the sight of it. Oh, yum, yum, oh, can we have some, please? Now, the poor girl had hardly any for herself. But because she was so good and kind, she didn't argue, but divided it into four. Oh, oh thank you, said the little men once they'd eaten it. Oh, that was yum -oh. <laughs> And uh, And now, if you don't mind, <laughs> would you mind going outside and sweeping up the snow at the back door? And once again, the girl did as she was told, and to her astonishment, Underneath the snow, she found a basket full of ripe strawberries. <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it, the three little men called out. And because you've been so kind to us, we have three presents for you. Mm. Every day you will grow more beautiful, the first little man said. Gold pieces will fall out of your mouth every time you talk, the second little man said. You will marry a king, the third little man said. You will, you will, you know. And after receiving these three gifts, the girl shook hands and went home. Well, the stepmother was astonished to see her, and her eyes widened as she heard the story, particularly as every time the girl opened her mouth, bleh, clang, a gold coin fell out. By the end of the story, bleh, clang, bleh, clang, there was so much gold in the room, bleh, clang, bleh, clang, bleh, 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 clang, 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 they could hardly move. Blimey! 
I've got to try this for myself, the stepmother exclaimed, and yanked her own daughter off her comfortable seat by the fire. Out you go, she ordered. Oh, Mum, the daughter whined, just be quiet. Here, put on this mint cake, darling, you won't be cold. And look, take this huge piece of chocolate cake, you won't be hungry. <laughs> now off you go and find those three short little men in the wood. All right. <laughs> <Ta-ta>. <laughs> well, the girl went straight off and soon found her way to the little house. She was invited in, just like her stepsister, and sat down by the stove where she... <coughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and she sat down by the stove where she pulled out her enormous slice of chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, the three little men exclaimed. Oh, can we have that, please? Get lost, the girl replied. There's hardly enough there for me. And she promptly ate the lot. <laughs> Even though it made her feel rather sick. OK. You have warmed yourself at our fire, they said. Will you now sweep the snow at our back door? You're joking. <laughs> Draw yourself, you dirty little creeps. I see, the three little men said. You are cruel and selfish, and so these are the three gifts we will give you. Every day you shall grow a little uglier, the first little man said. Every time you speak, a toad shall spring out of your mouth, the second little man said. You shall die a miserable death, the third little man said. You will, you know. Well, the girl ran home to her mother, who was waiting at the door. Speak to me, she cackled, expecting a coin. Mum! The daughter wailed. And a huge green slimy toad leapt out of her mouth. And by the time she'd finished telling her story, boing, boing, ribbit, 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 by the time she'd finished, the whole house was ribbit, crawling with huge toads. In the weeks that followed, the daughter got uglier and uglier, while the stepdaughter got more and more beautiful, and the stepmother got crueler and crueler, determined that the beautiful girl should die. But there was still the third gift that the three little men had promised. And sure enough, one day, a king rode past, saw the beautiful girl on her knees beside the river, and carried her back to the palace to be his wife. So now the girl was rich and happy. She loved her husband, and soon she gave birth to a baby boy. But shortly after the birth, the horrible stepmother came to visit with her ugly daughter. They grabbed hold of the queen and threw her out of the window and 200 feet down into a pond. Then the ugly daughter got into bed instead of her and the mother pulled the sheets over her head. A short while later, the king came home. Uh, where's my wife? He demanded when he saw the stepmother waiting in the bedchamber. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about her, your uh, majesticness. <laughs> the woman replied, she's uh, just got a bit of flu, that's all. <laughs> you let her rest. <laughs> Well, the king didn't suspect that anything was wrong, so he went over to the bed and said, uh, well, How are you, darling? Uh, hello. And a horrible fat toad leapt out onto the pillow. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, your majesticness. <laughs> the stepmother crooned. It's just the flu. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> but the king was worried, and that night, as he sat alone in the throne room, a duck flew in out of the moonlight and came right up to the throne. Well, the king thought he must be dreaming, which was strange because he hadn't gone to bed yet. The duck appeared with a sword which it gave to the king. <coughs> Swing the sword three times over my head <coughs> as I stand on the threshold of the castle <coughs> and your wife will appear. <coughs> and the king did as he was told. And a moment later the duck flapped its wings and transformed into his wife who stood there in front of him, alive and well, and more beautiful than ever. Well, as soon as she had told him what had happened, the king summoned the stepmother to the throne. OK, tell me, he said, what would you do to someone who had dragged an innocent woman out of bed and thrown her into a pond? Do, the stepmother thought for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what I'd do, your kingliness. I'd, I'd put them in a barrel, bang a load of nails into it, and roll them down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> you have pronounced your own sentence, the king exclaimed. That's what I shall now do to you. Oh, no, um, wait a minute. No, I said the wrong thing, the stepmother said. <laughs> On second thoughts, I'll give her loads of cash, get her a big car, a couple of houses, and... But it was too late. 
The stepmother and her horrible daughter were locked up together in a barrel. The top was hammered on, nails were banged in, and the whole thing was rolled down the steepest hill and over a cliff. And that was the end of them. <sighs> and at last, everybody in the kingdom could live happily ever after. And about time too. Now, what exactly do you mean by this pathetic behaviour? 